Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're going to take a look through this Navy book. And I'm going to do some SMD soldering. I whipped up some little practice boards through my friends at PCB Way. And these are just 1206 pads. And then I've got test points on either side of each pad so I can test and see if my soldering was successful or not. Yeah, nothing special here. But uh, I'm going to practice my SMD work because I think that's where I need a lot of help. All right, this is my boot camp book from the Navy. Company 060, Recruit Training Command, San Diego, California. And there's an overview of the base, which is no longer there. It's now a hip shopping and living destination called Liberty Center or something like that. Stupid crap. All right, that was the captain of the base. Known as the old man. Now, none of these were people that I went to boot camp with. These are just some, I guess, Navy stock photos. But you went in, you got your clothing. Then your companies were commissioned. Then you had your medical and dental stuff. This is the day I remember. You had to walk down this gauntlet. And they would shoot you in the arm with those inoculation guns over and over and over again. You were sore. But it didn't matter because you still have PT to do. <laughs> weekend. Like anything different went on in the weekend than it did during the week. No, sir. It was all the same. Water survival like we talked about. Except uh, we did it with our pants like this, not in swim trunks. Ordnance and gunnery. And this is like a fake ship called the USS Recruit. It was just sitting there in the middle of the base and you had to go on it and learn different shipboard procedures. Ship visit, we never had any ship visits. Your OBA, your oxygen breathing apparatus. I wonder if they still use this now. This is a, a Draeger based system. We had lots of uh, training in fire control, how to put out fires, how to do damage control. That's pretty much what you do. You shove a giant wooden cork in the hole, put a bucket over it. Um, they also have like these giant metal straps that go over pipes if the pipes break. I don't see that. We did a lot of drill, which is just marching around. And then there's the gas chamber where you had to go in and repeat your general orders till you came out with puking and snot running down your face. Just different stuff that went on. But now let's get to my actual company. Company 060. There's where our company commanders. Spencer and Casey. Casey was the one that I had a beer with the day we graduated. Now this guy, this is the guy I talked to you about before. Most people in boot camp were 18, 19 years old. He was 34 and a Miami police officer. They pushed him hard. All the different little recruits. There's me. That's me right there. These are our actual photos. Again, there's me. <laughs> I just thought some of you guys might get a kick out of seeing these. These were our company flags. We designed this one and that one. That's it. All right, I'm going to get set up for soldering. 
All right, I've got my supplies here. Got a selection of 1206 resistors. Got the board, soldering iron, solder. Got some flux. And I'm gonna try some different methods. So the first one I wanna try is to tin the pads. I know this isn't the preferred method. I just want to try some different things and see what happens. Let's see if I can't get you in a little bit closer. All right. So like I said, I know this is not the preferred method for doing this. I just want to try some different techniques and see what I get. All right, so that one is down. Let me get the meter. All right, so we got the meter. We'll test our resistance here, right on it. Seven point four five k. Then I'm gonna test the tech the my test points. Yeah, same reading. So that's good. That's a successful joint. Now, like I said, I know that isn't the preferred way. So now, we'll sit one of these guys on here. Oops. I think my biggest problem is my eyes aren't as good as they once were. So now this one is just sitting there. Kind of uh, all on its own. I don't think this method is going to work very well. Yeah, see how it stood up? It's called tombstoning. Yeah. So the way I generally do it is I'll tin one pad. Then I'll get my component. Hold it with the tweezers. Get it on there. And then do the other side. And then if I feel it's necessary, I'll come back and just reflow that side. So I get some decent joints. All right, I'm gonna work on the rest of these. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at PCB Way. PCB Way is one of the largest manufacturers of PCBs in China and in the world. And they can make your board for you in about 24 hours. With shipping, you know, it's going to take you a week. 
you get five boards for five dollars plus shipping they do great work they check out your uh, Gerber files before they begin the process and if there's a problem they'll let you know about it you'll get to it and you won't have any problems so if you need PCBs made I would highly uh, suggest you check out PCB way look at their web page will be a link down below and see if they are right for you well, as you can see from the previous clip, the uh, technique I used seemed to work very well. There were no problems. Every one of the resistors was connected. So perhaps my SMD soldering will get better. All it needs is a little practice, I guess, right? So if you think your SMD oops, soldering could use a little bit of practice, then I'm going to make uh, the Gerbers available for this little practice board. Available on the PCV Way website, and you'll find a, uh, a link to it down below. I invite you to check it out. Even if you don't order them from there, you can download the Gerbers from there for free get it produced you know wherever you want so check it out i want to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this hope you give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the sponsors big thanks to pcb way and a big thanks to you for watching that's it i'm out peace <laughs>